one of my absolute favorite topics, uh, the secrets of lifestyle photography, which is something that uh, I am completely in love with. And I know that many of you uh, have dabbled in a little bit of lifestyle. Maybe you shoot fashion, maybe you shoot portraiture. But uh, for me, um, lifestyle photography is, um, I think, some of the most dynamic and complex type of photography out there. Um, it's also the most lucrative style of photography. So if you're interested in actually making money in photography and taking it to the highest level, um, I am a huge advocate of getting involved in lifestyle photography. Um, the reason being is that uh, in, when you look at the grand scheme of all photographic budgets, one thing to take in, con, to consideration is where is the money being spent? And a lot of photographers don't realize this, but really it's the Fortune 500 companies. And all for, Fortune 500 companies, no matter who you are, whether you're, you're Apple, um, you know, whether you're um, a, a major financial company, such as a bank or an insurance company, they're all going to be shooting lifestyle photography, some form of lifestyle photography. Happy, healthy people, having fun, enjoying life, creating um, stories is what we're trying to do. Creating that moment, which is complex because we're gonna be art directing it. We're gonna be planning it. We're gonna be storyboarding it. We're going to be casting world-class top models. Um, and we're going to be bringing in props and amazing styling and all these, creating these scenarios, allowing it to unfold and then capturing it. So it's almost like creating a film or a television show. You're creating this incredible story and then almost as a photojournalist, then capturing the moments. So it's creating this scenario to unfold and then capturing serendipitous moments. And that's kind of the intention of what lifestyle and what I like to uh, coin the term slice of life, because that's what we're doing. We're creating a slice of life in photography. To me, that is what it's all about. And that's what I get really, really excited about photographically. Now, I, you know, as many of you, I actually was really interested in fashion and I still am. I, I shoot a lot of, uh, you know, fashion campaigns. Um, I actually am, um, uh, uh, have a project coming up that I'm going to be shooting in um, a week and a half down in Miami, um, specifically for Giorgio Armani. Um, and it's a $90,000 campaign. Um, it's going to be myself and a couple of my camera operators on my team. And we're going to be shooting um, uh, for social, um, a campaign. And I I've been landing a lot of these high profile fashion campaigns. I shoot for Burberry. I've shot um, multiple campaigns for Burberry recently. Um, I've got this one for Giorgio Armani. Um, we've got another one coming up for Dior. So I, I've been doing a lot of that on the fashion front. But to be honest, my I would say my bread and butter is lifestyle photography. Shooting advertising campaigns for high profile lifestyle clients, um, like when I shoot for uh, Smirnoff or Pepsi, or when I'm shooting for a major pharmaceutical campaign, which I've done um, multiple of those projects, the budgets are ridiculous. But what's even more important to me than that is also the storytelling. I love to tell stories. I love to create amazing stories photographically um, that really kind of stay on the test of time and become iconic because that's essentially what we're going for, to create iconic images, images that just blow away the audience and make the audience feel connected, make the audience feel invigorated, make the audience want to be a part of it. And that's really important because that's what slice of life and lifestyle is all about. It's, it's in, incorporating the audience, the viewer inside of the scene with you. And that's not easy to do. And a lot of photographers are essentially photographing a moment and it's almost like they're, they're there and they're capturing something over in the distance and they're photographing these people standing there. Well, I don't want it to be that way. I want to feel like we're there inside of the scene. We're trying to create this slice of life moment in which we are a part of it. I should say the viewer is a part of it. And that's something that it, it takes a lot of skills. It takes a lot of production. It takes a lot of planning. And also um, there's a lot of posing, strategy and art direction. 
And that's something that, you know, I've been able to develop over the, over the years and over time. Um, and I would say that's one of my, my specialties is the actual um, art direction and the storytelling of it and creating these moments that just pop off of the page that get the viewer completely excited about what we're doing. And, you know, and for instance, in this, this uh, spread that actually uh, just came out today, by the way, um, it, this is a um, uh, kind of like a preview of some of our lifestyle photography. This just came out in number eight magazine, um, the printed edition that comes out um, today. And it also features um, <clears throat> two massive scale editorials, including the front cover and the back cover of the magazine. And this is going to be um, these uh, spreads are on the inside of the publication as well. Um, but we have, I believe, one is a 20 page spread. One, I think, is a 40 page spread. It's, it's insane what we have that just came out in number eight magazine. <clears throat> and the coolest thing is that many of you photographers that are joining right now are actually featured and published in the editorial which is really, really exciting. Um, now, granted, these editorials, although I just showcased some of that lifestyle content, um, the editorials that are being published are fashion. However, we do have some lifestyle stories coming up. Um, I'll actually show you guys the front cover and the back cover of the magazine. Um, and, and also the kind of the difference between what you just saw, which is uh, lifestyle photography, where everybody's having fun and there's lots of smiles, there's lots of energy, there's a connection, um, there's, uh, there's all these, essentially capturing these moments, you know, that's essentially lifestyle photography, this is the difference, happy, happy fun, people having fun, enjoying life. And then, of course, we have fashion photography, which is definitely a little bit more serious and intense. This is the cover of number eight magazine and featuring Lance Andrews, one of our attendees. Um, this is, I think, his um, second or third workshop that he's attended with us. He also signed up for another upcoming workshop experience uh, that I believe we'll be seeing him at the masterclass, um, which is really exciting. And um, he got the front cover and he got a, a huge amount of images on the inside spread. Um, he probably has um, 16 pages all by himself, which is which is pretty spectacular. And that's one of the cool things about what I do is I, I give photographers the capability to get published, feature their content. This is actually the back cover. This was shot by Mike Wylett. Again, this is another fashion image. You notice the difference. This is very, um, you know, just looking off into the distance. Um, there's no smiles. It's just more of a serious kind of look, and the, which is fantastic. Um, and it's a great back cover. Um, but, uh, but of course, you know, what the topic of today is we're going to be focusing sheerly on lifestyle. And this is an amazing editorial, but I also want you guys to think about the difference between, say, editorial and advertising. Now, the biggest difference is that editorial is to be essentially published in a magazine, right? But what that also means is that there's no money in it. Editorials, I mean, I've been publishing over 200 magazine editorials with about 20 covers over my career, and I've actually never um, really made any money off of editorial photography. In fact, oftentimes I've lost money in editorial photography, surprisingly. I know that sounds a little crazy, but oftentimes we're doing it, we're actually just doing editorial for the opportunity to land an advertising campaign, right? That's what we're really looking for, is to land those large-scale advertising campaigns. That's what we're trying to get. That's what we're trying to achieve. And so the whole point of doing, um, you know, to do, doing essentially uh, editorials are to land the advertising campaigns, right? Um, now, if there are fashion advertising campaigns, that's what I'm actually shooting for Giorgio Armani for a $90,000 shoot. Um, but there's also lifestyle advertising campaigns. Um, and this is some of the content that we actually had shot um, down in Miami Beach, which was incredible on lifestyle photography. Um, but you notice that it's telling a story and I feel like, you know, these models, they become more than just models. They're more like actors. They're more like characters. And, and that's really what the, the real special aspect, the special secret sauce to lifestyle, it's finding talent that goes beyond just being a model that stands there and looks pretty. We're making them characters. We're making them, you know, essentially come to life as actors. And to me, that gets really exciting. That's really special, right? So, you know, it, when we're looking at an image like this, you know, I feel engaged, um, almost like my guard is let down. I feel good about it. 
I feel energized. I feel um, like to me, this is really exciting. It's something that, um, you know, I feel like is um, uh, really um, engaging the audience because you can almost relate to that moment. You know, they're, they're surfing, they're kind of going to the beach as friends, you know, they're having fun. It's just like an amazing fun weekend. Right. And that's kind of the, the story that we're trying to tell. Right. And I love stuff like this because content like this, it transcends just a boring old picture of, of gorgeous models because it's telling more of a story. You know, another great example is this image, this one we had shot um, also in Miami Beach. Um, and, and by the way, guys, if you guys are interested in any of these epic photographic experiences, um, we're going to be um, offering an opportunity to, um, you know, to, to get involved and actually um, speak to some of our world class professional photographic consultants um, for a dedicated uh, one on one zoom momentum session where you can kind of figure out with them what the next step is in your photography to maximize your lifestyle photography maximize being an advertising photographer or maximize how you can achieve greatness and achieve more in your consumer photography by integrating all this amazing lifestyle content. And um, so anyway, so it's, it's something where, you know, I want you guys to start thinking about, um, you know, what is next for your photography career? Right now, the industry is absolutely crushing it. And I've been doing a lot of these webinars over the last few years. And, you know, and, and I've, during the midst of the chaos of the last few years, I, I kept mentioning the same topic, which was, listen, when everything unfolds, when star, start to, the, the world starts to open up in 2022, the industry is going to be crushing it. It's going to be booming. Our photography careers are going to blast off, okay? And sure enough, it's all come to pass because projects are coming out more than ever before. Our photographers are getting booked left and right. I've been getting booked left and right. I'm landing all these campaigns left and right, huge jobs on a regular basis. I'm actually having to turn down jobs because I have too many projects going on. And in addition to all of this, from shooting campaigns for Burberry, Giorgio Armani, Dior, to also, I've got a TV show that I'm filming um, for Netflix this summer at my 49 room, 40,000 square foot castle in France, to also um, the amazing um, opportunities of um, uh, not only shooting these fashion campaigns, but also giving the opportunity to, to work with our amazing photographers and give them the opportunity just like this to shoot the greatest images of their lifetimes at their amazing, at these incredible workshops. Because just like, as you see here, this is world-class content. And I'm really proud. I'm proud of our photographers, just like, you know, the incredible um, uh, Mike Wylett, who I know is on right now. Um, you know, Mike, it's, it's so good to see you getting published, getting a cover of a magazine. You deserve it, man. Your, your work is incredible. And you have multiple, multiple images being published as well. Um, in, in the magazine, in number eight magazine, which just came out today, which is really exciting. Um, and those of you guys, a bunch of you photographers on right now who also have attended some of our recent workshops or are attending some upcoming workshops. It's great to see you, Adriana Escalante. We had an epic time um, down, in, um, the, down in Virginia at our DC workshop last week. It's absolutely mind blowing. Good to see you again. I'm really excited about what's next for you, Adriana. Um, El Noor, I can't wait to work with you. We're gonna have some amazing, amazing times together. Um, I know I've had an opportunity to speak to you and um, I can't wait to work with you in person. Carl Wu, I know you got to join us down in DC. It's so good to see you, man. Um, and uh, we've got um, some of our team members as far as on my team, photographic consultants that are joining us, um, a bunch of them on right now, which I'm really excited about as well. Um, and, um, and then John Wooten, which um, you also had the opportunity to join us in Virginia, which was mind blowing. And we shot with um, 13 polo horses, which was absolutely incredible. Um, Carrie Wetzel, I see you on as well, which is awesome. Um, but, uh, you know, we got to shoot with 13 polo horses. We got to shoot with a gypsy vanner, which is this incredible horse with this amazing mane. And I mean, completely over the top and, um, and unbelievable. We also even got the opportunity to shoot with a kangaroo, 
We brought in our amazing production coordinator, Priscilla Evans. She even um, coordinated it so that we had, we actually got to shoot with a kangaroo and we've shot with all kinds of exotic animals over the years. Um, from uh, Bactrian camels to reindeer. This, we had a shot with a kangaroo. Um, you know, we've shot with all kinds of incredible and exotic, um, amazing horses. Um, we've shot with baby goats to highland cows to, um, I mean, just stuff that's just out of this world. Um, and on top of all of that, um, to shoot something like this, I mean, when are you gonna get this opportunity? You know, and to film it, we shot this with an 8K camera. Um, we shot, I mean, it's so much fun, right? And world-class top models that we flew in from Miami, New York, and LA. So we had these A-list models that were world-class lifestyle models. We brought in these incredible animals. Um, I think, you know, from the 13 um, polo horses to the um, gypsy vanner horse, to the giant, giant mane, to the kangaroo. And on top of all of that, we even had an opportunity, um, which is that I, I, we've never done this before, um, but we actually also got to shoot with um, the uh, like baby lemurs, which is crazy. Um, and I don't even know how we were able to pull this off, but the great Priscilla Evans was able to coordinate baby lemurs um, on set, which was absolutely ridiculous, um, but so much fun. And our photographers uh, got to create content that they would never have access to on their own, which is which is exciting, you know, and I love I love to see that. So, um, I mean, the content is is insane. And we're going to look over a bunch of this content today. Um, but, you know, what the value of this and some of the secrets to lifestyle photography, you guys, is creating content that shows a large production value. Right. And when you're shooting with something like a baby lemur um, or a kangaroo or, um, you know, shooting with 13 polo horses, there is a lot of production value to that, because I'll tell you what that is not easy to pull off something like this and also to make it look natural and real and to create something that's just so ridiculous and so over the top. Um, you know, I mean, it's, these are just some outtakes here of some of the stuff we shot with the lemurs. Um, but you know, absolutely ridiculous, lots of fun though. And I can't wait to see, you know, the final, um, when we get our final video edit done of this amazing production. Um, we also shot at this, um, incredible location. Um, which was really cool too. So that's another aspect is not only bringing in um, amazing concepts, but also an incredible location. And for instance, you know, we were able to book these multi-million dollar mansion estates um, out in the Leesburg, Virginia area um, that were pretty unbelievable. And actually I'll even show you a little behind the scenes um, aerial shot of what it looks like on one of my sets. Um, where we are shooting at, this is um, a multi-million dollar estate. It was on about 30 acres. And um, we are um, shooting um, out here with, um, uh, we had giant eight by eight foot scrims. We had bounces. Um, we were photographing in this multi-million dollar estate, um, shooting with these unbelievable top models. I flew in from all over the country. Really, really exciting. But you can see the production value here. Having content like this really makes a difference in your photographic portfolio because content like this, it's just like, it, it takes you to that next level. It allows the viewer to be like, oh my gosh, all right, this looks like this was a six-figure ad campaign, you know? And that's what you want. You want that beautiful high-end aesthetic so that they feel, the audience, the client feels like, oh my gosh, all right, you know, that I, I trust in you because you've got this unbelievable content. You've got this world-class production. And that's why Giorgio Armani trusts me to shoot for their campaign because they know the level of production and quality that I bring to the table. And you want to do the same. You want to showcase that level of quality and production. Really, really, really valuable and important. Now, if you guys have any questions about any of the stuff we go over, please ask them in the Q&A because it's something that we will get to. And I want to get to each and every one of your questions. Very, very important um, to me. And meanwhile, um, I want to also showcase, I, I wanna, I'm going to ask you guys a few um, uh, poll questions, surveys. Um, and, you know, and, and, and to me, you know, one of the first things that, that always is important to me is discovering, okay, when you're thinking about this, and, you know, when, when you create, um, your lifestyle body of work. Now, first of all, this lifestyle body of work, it has to be iconic, right? Now you need 40 cohesive images, 
put together. So 40 images that when I say cohesive, meaning they all correlate together, they all work together. And out of those 40 images, and these have to be world-class images and each scene has to be a different scene, with different, different um, style scenarios um, in different scenes, meaning you can't have the same look over and over again in your book. It has to be different scenarios, right? Out of those 40 scenes, you also need to have at least 25 to 30 iconic images, images that are just like psh, blow my mind, right? Images that are like, okay, all right, now I feel like I can trust, you know, them to, to because if I'm going to shoot, I mean, I'm going to trust them with a $90,000 budget, they're going to knock it out of the park. That's what you want the client to feel, right? So if they feel, the client feels like they can knock it out of the park, you know, that way, okay, they have all these amazing iconic images. Now I trust them. That's what we're going for. We're looking for trust, right? And that's what in iconic images blow them away and also make them feel like, okay, now I trust this guy. Now I know that if I'm going to book them for, for my shoot, that they're going to, um, you know, to knock it out of the park, right? That's really, really important. And for me, you know, when I'm working with these really high profile clients, I want to make sure that my, my clients are like, oh my gosh, all right, I'm wowed and dazzled. I now trust, um, you know, I know I trust Kevin Michael Schmitz to, to land my, you know, to shoot my campaign because his images are iconic. Everything he shoots is iconic. That's what you want them to think, right? And even if it's not the case, it's okay. As long as they think that, as long as they have the perception that everything you do is iconic, very very important. Okay, guys, um, making sure iconic images, um, you know, become the mainstay in your portfolio. And I would say, what makes that iconic image? An image that is, wow, it's right there in your face. The styling's amazing. The models are incredible. The production value is over the top. More important than anything, it's the expressions and the energy, right? Expressions, moment in time, energy, styling, models. So the casting's got to be A-list, have to be top models, um, and art direction. All that storytelling storytelling, and incredible location and beautiful lighting, all of it has to come together to be an iconic image, right? These images that I'm showing you, to me, these are iconic images. And these are all shot actually at our photographic workshops under my guidance and direction by our attendees. And these are iconic images that, that go in their portfolios, directly into their master portfolios. And that's key. Images that just stand the test of time. Images that are going to knock the socks off of a client. You know, even the image that I, you know, featured for this, this was just shot in Miami Beach. Um, I believe um, this was from Crystal Bear, who's actually on this, this webinar right now. And she'll join us as a panelist. Um, and this to me is an iconic image. Just, wow. Just completely everything about it from the expression, the energy, the moment, the engagement, the feeling, um, the styling, everything about it is iconic. But what consists of the iconic? How do you get to that level of high-level production and iconic images? It does take investing, okay, guys? That's why for me, I don't even waste my time doing low-end model portfolio shoots, model tests, um, or even small-scale editorials. I only am going to focus on a large-scale production because, you know, when I have my eyes on the prize and I'm looking, you know, and I'm shooting $90,000 jobs, it's because I... Fill my portfolio with only the best of the best of the best, but this stuff is not cheap to produce. Bringing in five world-class top models that you fly in from New York or Miami or LA, um, shooting at unbelievable high-end locations, getting film permits, top wardrobe styles, hairstyles, makeup artists, production assistants. I had like four production assistants on this, camera operators, all the details, and especially the wardrobe. Is the wardrobe I spent about $30,000 in wardrobe that I buy in return. Plus, I have to hire my wardrobe stylist who is also going to pull buy in return. I've got my hair, my makeup, my sisters, all these, this crew that adds up in addition to all my gear. So the cost of the production is pretty immense. You know, these are equivalent to generally a fifty dollars to $100,000 a day production. So large scale, right? And over the course of five days, you're talking about a half million dollars in, in, in production is what it's equivalent to, right? So that's why I think it's really valuable to invest in yourself. And that's one of the reasons I designed the workshop series 13 years ago was to develop photographers and give them the opportunity to invest in themselves. And even if instead of $100,000 a day, you're investing 20K, 15K, 10K, whatever the, the investment is, but to invest in yourself and you absolutely have to. And those of you guys who are not, those of you guys who are not investing enough it's going to be a challenge. 
you know, you might think that you're saving money or you might think that like, oh, well, you know, I'll, I'll just go along with what I'm doing or hope that my client shoots will give me a big enough budget. But without the world-class content and without the world-class level of production in your portfolio, it's going to be really hard to, to make that jump from where you are now to where you want to be. It's going to be very, very challenging. And that's actually why we designed the workshop series was to invest in developing your portfolio, but not having to break the bank. Being able to do it on a really large scale level and a really high end level of quality without completely you know, breaking the bank. And that's to me really, really important is to create something that is just absolutely magnificent. So, you know, images like this that are just breathtaking, world-class, you know, shooting content like we just shot in Miami Beach, just like this. I believe this might've also been from Crystal. This was incredible. Shooting content that tells stories, has multiple models in the scene, maybe even mature models, young adult models, child models, creating dynamic situations. Very, very, very important. Creating content that just, it, it makes the viewer feel like, okay, now I trust you. Now I'm willing to give you these budgets. And that's why for me, guys, I won't even consider a job for under $30,000 to pick up my camera. It's just not worth it for me. It's just not even worth it. I only go for high-end clients. I only go for high-end jobs. And if you start feeling that way, if you start being like, you know what? I deserve more more than whatever you're getting paid now. I deserve getting six-figure ad campaigns on a regular basis, then you will. You just need to develop the body of work. You need to develop iconic images, a 40-image cohesive body of work with 25 to 30 iconic images, and then learn all aspects of how to brand yourself, market yourself, and land the deals. And this is what I specialize in, you guys. That's why I've done a series of these epic um, you know, webinars specifically about this. I direct high-end workshops specifically around helping guide photographers and help them achieve greatness and success. And we also offer the six-hour intensives on branding and developing your portfolio, marketing yourself as a photographer, retouching, storyboarding and art direction, closing the deal and booking more clients. We have all aspects of these that I also strongly recommend. And those of you guys that, that have you know, are attending our, um, this amazing webinar right now, um, you know, whether you're attending it now or in rebroadcast, we're also going to offer a $300 discount off of any of our virtual workshops where you can enroll and you can get going and watch these six-hour intensives right now, right off the bat, um, and you can start getting on top of your branding, get on top of your marketing. And that's extremely important to me because I want to see you guys succeed. That's, that's my vested interest is to see my photographers achieve greatness. That's what it's all about. And, um, and, you know, and great comments, everybody. And thanks so much, Jeannie, for um, mentioning. So great to see the stuff from shot in Virginia. Um, and absolutely, I know we just shot last week. So a lot of you guys haven't even gotten to your images yet um, or video yet. But um, I know that um, the content is just absolutely breathtaking. It's some of the greatest lifestyle work we've ever done um, ever in the history of the photography workshop series. And um, awesome. And it's great to hear you from Adriana Escalante, who just joined us. And Carrie Wetzel, I know you're just there at our workshop. Amazingly, Jeannie Stack, you guys, um, John Wooten, we had so many of you guys that were just with us. And that Virginia workshop um, down in DC, I mean, that was literally one of the coolest workshops we've ever done. So I was really proud of it. It was such a hit that we're going to do it next year. We're going to do an epic five-day Virginia equestrian um, photography workshop in the DC area next year. Um, we've already been booking out photographers for it. So I'm really, really excited. Um, now, if you guys are um, interested in taking yourself to the next level, um, I, uh, I'm going to offer you guys a one-on-one -on -one, um, photographic momentum session. And even if you guys have done this already before with us, that's okay. We want you to jump on with one of our elite photographic consultants about helping strategize for your photographic career. And I want you guys to click in the link that I just attached. Um, and I would love for you guys to set up a one-on-one um, -on -one strategy session um, with one of our professional photographic consultants. Um, and specifically, I want you guys to focus on the next steps, how to land those big ad campaigns, 
Um, or how to land more clients as a consumer photographer, maybe adapting to lifestyle or if you're more into fashion, either way. But if you want some tips, some strategies, we're going to offer this for free. And it's a great opportunity um, to, you know, to basically develop yourself to the highest level and, you know, use my team because that's what we're here for. We're here to help guide you guys. We're here to help you every step of the way. And what might as well use the resources at your disposal that I'm going to provide to you because I've been doing this a long time and I just want to see success out of you guys. Very, very, very important. So please, you know, answer, if you guys don't mind, answer the survey that we um, shot out to you about budget. We also, um, you know, set up a Zoom session with us because we'd love to jump on one-on-one -on -one with you guys. Um, and thanks so much for all the amazing um, uh, messages in the chat. I, and I encourage you guys to also uh, ask some questions in the Q&A. And absolutely, um, I had a message from uh, Hugh Gilmartin. Will there be replays of the seminar online? Absolutely, Hugh. Um, we always um, uh, put these up on our YouTube channel. And I do strongly encourage you guys to um, go to our YouTube channel um, because it is very, very valuable. Um, you have got about 45 photographic webinars on all different topics um, that uh, I, I strongly recommend you guys jump on because those... Um, uh, those webinars have all kinds of gold in them. And some of the webinars, like a Secrets of Fashion Photography, I think we had uh, 16,500 uh, viewers on that one. Um, and we've had a lot of photographers, a lot of really exciting stuff um, for um, our photographers that they have really enjoyed and also utilized uh, for, you know, taking their photography to the next level. Because that's what this is all about is really about you achieving more in your photography and learning the secrets of lifestyle photography, learning how to make that magic happen. You know, that's, that's what we want. Okay, so um, while you guys are doing that, I do want to um, kind of bring up the next aspect of lifestyle photography that is absolutely key and critical. Um, and that is going to be not just directing a world-class lifestyle photo shoot, but it's also critical, key, and important to shoot video production and to develop a video reel that is going to knock the socks off of your clients, to wow and dazzle them, to make them energized and excited and want to work with you. And honestly, like a lot of the bigger budget jobs that I get now, they're video production jobs. Some of them include photography. A lot of them also are um, just straight up, um, you know, video or video and photography together. And I definitely recommend that, um, you know, that if you guys haven't developed you know, an amazing um, uh, video reel yet, now is the time. Now is the time to do it because I would say now more than ever before in, in history and in photography, um, I've never seen so much of a need for video. It is absolutely key. It is what everybody wants. And you know what the best part is, guys? All of our cameras do it now. Everybody's camera can shoot high and, and video. And I love that. This is something that is absolutely perfect for us because our SLRs can do it now. You know, we're shooting with, um, you know, generally Canon R5s. I'm shooting with, you know, both high-end um, uh, photographic content on my R5 shoots in like, what, 45 megapixels. And then also it films in 8K. So the video content is just out of this world. It's like, oh my gosh, like how is this content incredible coming out of our SLRs when it looks like it was a massive scale motion picture camera and we're shooting on gimbals. And that's what I'd strongly recommend. If you guys don't uh, shoot with a gimbal currently, I can show you how to do them, <clears throat> work with them at the workshop. Um, we incorporate gimbals, we incorporate um, um, shooting with drones, creating all this amazing content um, and creating these moments where we're capturing these models, having these moments and these energized moments where there's feeling, there's energy, and we're, we're creating these moments in time. You know, having content that is just, it's energizing, it's lifestyle, it's fun. And incorporating stuff like this into your photographic portfolio on your photographic website is key because it'll help take you to the next level. And whether you're into video or you just want to be a photographer, it's so important, you guys, because it gives you this added value. And it's something that I always incorporate. Even if I'm just hired to do the photo shoot for a client, I want to also show that I want to add a little bit of video into it. Even if I don't get hired on video, I'm going to throw that in because everybody needs it. They want it for social media. They want all kinds of incredible content. Um, this was Miami a couple of years ago, um, but having amazing 
world-class video, it just allows you to take it up another notch. It allows you to take it up to the next level. And it allows you to land larger budgets because video always has larger budgets than photography. But as photographers, this is one of the greatest times in history because we can also get hired as directors. We can get hired as directors, as photographers, and as cinematographers. It's fantastic now, guys. And if you're a little uncomfortable with it, or even if you are comfortable with it, it's something that we will give you the opportunity to film in a really safe and awesome environment. Um, Jeannie Stack, I want you guys, you to jump on today and talk a little bit about that because I know you uh, just attended your first workshop with us at the DC Experience, and you were operating gimbal almost the entire time. And for you, it was it was really important um, to master that video reel. And I thought you did an amazing job. Absolutely amazing job. So, um, and I love that. And I'd love for you to jump on as well. Um, and thank you guys so much for um, answering in the polls. I know there's quite a few of you that haven't yet. And please do, if you have not um, answered um, about what's your budget for investing in yourself. Um, and, um, and I'd love to get to, um, uh, first of all, Jeannie, because I know I was just talking about Jeannie. Um, I was really proud of Jeannie because her work was so incredible down at the Virginia workshop um, down in DC. Um, she did such an amazing job, not only photographically, um, but working with the models. You know, we flew in these top models from LA, New York, and Miami, and Jeannie worked with them so professionally and was able to coach them into these incredible scenes and get so much out of those amazing models. I was really, really impressed at the interaction that she had with them, the connection she had with them, and also the operation of the gimbal, because that it was kind of a, a newer thing for her. And it was really cool to see her um, you know, operate it like a total champ. It was amazing. It was amazing. So Jeannie, if you want to jump on um, and activate your video, um, I would love to um, have you discuss your experience down there in DC um, at the Virginia workshop and about, you know, about shooting video and what that was like. So let me know whenever you're ready. Uh, video, I can't seem to activate my video. Isn't that ironic? Um, it keeps saying the host isn't activating the video or something. The host has stopped it. So help there. Um, but I am here. Can you hear me? I can definitely hear you. Okay. Um, it was spectacular. Um, lots of fun. I really appreciate um, the art direction and the guidance for um, working with that because it is, it's not just plug and play. It is a little complex so you do have to pay attention to a lot of different things and then having all those models and and all the activity it, you know it, it's a great opportunity to develop attention and flex those muscles that need to be flexed in order to start working in that way um, where you are um, looking for the details looking for those moments that are as you say iconic that really tell the story um, and just get people doing the things you want them to do. Um, I wanted to do pool and you guys just pulled it together for me like last minute. That was awesome because I was looking for vacation and um, travel shots and um, uh, you had some bathing suits, but you went out and got more. And who has that, you know, just at a workshop who is served in that way to to bring things together so that we can all benefit from ideas. There were other people who had great ideas and you you totally helped people um, create that vision as well. And it was awesome. Excellent, excellent, Jeannie. Did you have, um, tell me like your aha moment when you were shooting, was there anything that was just like, wow, like this just blew my mind, like uh, totally transformed, you know, your photography or video? I know we talked about that and it feels like it's been months because I've already been through a trade show and things are happening. Um, I had several, um, certainly just um, the moment when I was thinking about um, how it was great working with so many people to use their brains and utilize everybody's vision to sort of up-level everybody's vision. It was all a rising tide rises all boats kind of a scenario, which was awesome. Um, and it allowed me to get a lot more great shots. And then um, just working with the gimbal and seeing things unfold in that juicy, romantic, slow way that, that really compels the viewer and helps move the story was a lovely thing to see. And um, I, I don't often have as many people with me uh, working reflectors and things. And so it was just lovely to be able to pop on, like I have an idea and somebody's right there with me um, to 
help me with the lighting because that's you know you lose a lot and video is one of those touchy things you got a light right you don't want to overexpose underexpose you can kind of deal with but overexpose you're dead in the water um and this just things came together and little moments like this where the where the little baby jumped on her head you know and it was like that is cool that's that's just a precious moment you can't you know it's having all the pieces together so that things like that can happen spontaneously makes the shoot i think absolutely absolutely well it was you know i agree and i think that the content i mean it speaks for itself and to give you a little bit of an idea of kind of like some of these behind the scenes moments um in fact i'll actually show you guys um you know genie and um i think this is genie and john um operating the gimbal and directing yep. there's genie actually directing right there um and uh Whereas, you know, John's got the camera in hand. Um, this is obviously a drone version of this, just kind of showcasing what's happening at the location um, and, uh, you know, and, and what that moment kind of looks like. But there's a lot, a lot of planning in this. Um, and Jeannie, you know, I was really impressed at the way you're operating this gimbal. Um, I thought you did an amazing job. You got all the different angles and we we're able to capture some just really cinematic and amazing moments that just, you know, they're gonna fill up your reel and create just mind blowing, like, oh my gosh, like this world-class reel where she can take it from where you're at now to like four steps above where you are now a world-class A-list, um, you know, photographer and production company at the highest level. Yeah, exactly. And that's, you know, that's what I wanna be doing anyway. So it was just perfect. Um, and yeah, you see this moment and, and having you sort of help walk me through blocking was really helpful. I often will just shoot what I think, where I think things should go. And sometimes you don't walk in with a storyboard and it's uh, it can be quite overwhelming, but with uh, just a simple few ideas of um, bringing things together and maintaining the same activity throughout every block scene, just like you would in a film, if you're shooting two different scenes of the same conversation it's it's awesome to have that available and it's awesome to think things through in that way it's great to open your mind up absolutely absolutely well thank you Jeannie. it was so awesome to have you on i cannot wait to see you at the next workshop it's just going to be mind-blowing um yeah. it's going to completely transform your world um and uh you're coming to which one coming up next masters yes the master class that's our most elite photographic workshop of the year um and i um i'm so excited because you know every year we just blow it out of the water with world fast content photographic and video um and it's almost um it, it's kind of like it, you know as epic as this was it's even another level more ridiculous um with world class team in la i bring in the best of the best of the best the biggest celebrity stylist in production and um it's really really exciting um in fact that's where we won so many awards this year um you know we just this last year alone um you know we won 107 awards um in uh the one island awards the losers archive communication arts color awards and um i believe um about a third of these images all came or about half of these images all came from the master class the award-winning images in the top 10 fashion photographers of the year awards um we won seven of them so it's really exciting. And of course, they have all these different categories, um, but we won in the top seven out of 10 fashion photographers of the year. I also recommend you guys also enter in all the other categories as well. Um, I've never seen anything like this, but the amount of awards we've been winning uh, is astronomical. And most of which all come from the masterclass, which is really exciting. And that happens um, in October. It's a really, really over the top and last workshop of the year. Uh, well, thank you so much, Jeannie. Thanks for coming on. I'd love to bring um, the next panelist on um, and uh, you know talk a little bit about um, the uh, the experience. Um, Crystal, uh, I would love the great Crystal Bear to jump on. Um, and then um, I love Rob, uh, Rob Leroy after that. So Crystal, um, if you wanna come on, um, you know, Crystal, you've come to the masterclass and um, Crystal, um, you know, has created just mind blowing content um, with me. Um, but she's also come to Newport Beach. Um, Crystal, what other workshops have you been to with me so far? Uh, Las Vegas, New York, um, Miami, and Newport. So it's four. Fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. And um, and this Miami experience is what I'm I'm of course really excited about all this incredible content. And I even pulled up some of this content because I want to I want to talk about it and I want to show the amazing images because you know 
I always get to like look at the images because after a workshop, we send out a Dropbox, everybody uploads their pictures and we go through the images afterwards and just set up a one-on-one -on -one session because we stick with our photographers before the workshop, during the workshop, and even after the workshop to make sure that they succeed at the highest level. And, you know, we select the best of the best of the best pictures. Well, when I got to look at Crystal's images, I mean, I was absolutely floored and dazzled by what Crystal created. And I just, I had to, not only it was the, the, the image, the key image that I used um, to showcase um, and market this webinar was one of Crystal's images, but I also wanted to showcase uh, a whole bunch of them um, now because they're just, they're so epic. Um, and I love to, um, you know, show the, the amazing success of our photographers and showcase these incredible, the incredible content because, you know, Crystal, your, your stuff is absolutely breathtaking. Um, so Crystal, why don't you tell me a little bit about Miami beach, what the experience was like, um, you know, were there certain images and scenes that you just absolutely fell in love with? Um, tell me a little bit about Miami. Miami was just, it was really awesome. Um, I love the lifestyle aspect, but I, I really, I didn't think I was going to like swim. And I loved swim and I especially liked, um, working with, uh, Jack and, um, oh my gosh, uh, dude, she was the star of the show, Brooke. That, yeah, yeah, Brooke. Well, yeah, Brooke and Angelina. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah. Jack and Brooke together were just like magic, uh, especially the swim, the swim one. Mm -hmm. Um, they were, it was, it was just incredible. And it was, it was actually really awesome experience to deal with like the weather was an issue and so um there was a lot of wind and we you know just watching how you know Kevin worked around it um was really just impressive because you really have to take into account you know the models and their comfort level but I just I love I love shooting women in general and it was just really amazing to um to really utilize just and highlight all the the fun all the fun aspects of vacationing and going on um going on trips and what it would be like if you were there in Miami it was it was basically like shooting a campaign for Miami Beach I mean I'm sure they would probably love to buy these images and use them for their <laughs> for their marketing purposes because it really just showcases like hey everybody come here um, and, you know, and also for fitness, I was just, I, my, my brain was just going crazy of all the ways you can use these, like for fitness magazines, especially with Brooke, she's just a fitness, um, she's very fit and she's into fitness too. So, um, I just got really inspired, um, with all these different ideas of how I could use these images that I'd never even thought of before. So, um, it was pretty amazing. Well, that's awesome. I mean, just look at these images. And I mean, these images are mostly all just straight out of camera and you just absolutely killed it. Um, and, and by the way, guys, uh, Miami, it's both a combination of lifestyle on some of the days and swim on other days. And it was really, really spectacular to see um, us knock out of the park. Of course, we brought in the best of the best swim models. I mean, you know, Brooke Basilton, which is just a superstar here. We shot on location in, in um, Key Biscayne, uh, which is an unbelievable location. We had RVs. We had, um, you know, these unbelievable stylists. We um, pulled up right on the waterfront and had this incredible look where it, it almost feels like we're in Barbados, which is really cool. And then we also shot on location in places um, in Miami Beach, right in front of the Royal Palm, which is incredible. Um, and then of course, back to like keep a skein here. So it's absolutely stunning. Um, Gabriella was just out of this world as well. Um, you did a really good job here too, um, Crystal, because you know, this is a combination, both lifestyle and, and swim, but creating, when you're shooting stuff like swim, this is such a strong swim editorial because you notice the art direction here, beautiful off the camera, right? Creating a seam right down the middle, because if we're going to, you know, if they, we're going to publish this, this is going to be where all the topography goes on this side. And, um, but really, really carefully art directed and, and shot. And I love the long depth, you know, the uh, shallow depth of field here um, with the long lens. Um, in fact, I don't even think you had, I think you had a fairly deep aperture, but it's just the long lens. You're shooting at, you know, this is like a three or 400 millimeter lens, right? Yeah, uh, thank, thank you to um, Mike Wilet for, for letting me borrow that and you as well. That's the other great thing about going on these shoots is that, you know, even if you don't ha happen to have the right lens, right? right now right then and there you can you know borrow other people's Kevin's like it's just a great um group and community 
you don't have to, like, if you're saying, well, I just don't have the right equipment to do it. That's not an excuse not to do it um, because you will be um, served by both Kevin and everybody, all the other photographers. We're, we're just such a, it's almost like a family when you're there, which is really great. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and thank you, uh, Chris. I'm glad you mentioned that because, you know, I always bring all my extra cameras and lenses as well. I, you know, I have uh, Canon R5s. I've got extra Canon 5D Mark IVs. I've got a 1DX Mark III. I've got all these different cameras. Our photographers can borrow those, but also a lot of the photographers also share gear with each other. And Crystal's mentioning the great Mike Wylett, who is one of my top superstar photographers um, and award-winning photographers. Um, he uh, also, you know, lent his lens, you know, these just massive, ridiculous lenses, tens of thousands of dollars worth of lenses and allowing other photographers to use them. Um, but creating content like this, um, it makes me really proud. So it's, it's absolutely gorgeous. And, you know, and, and what Jeannie said earlier, there's a, there's a lot of collaboration. So there's a lot of collaboration within the art direction and moments. And that's why these workshops are so spectacular because the production's so over the top. This is amazing. I love this scene right here. Absolutely stunning. Um, you know, gorgeous sequences and creating these moments. Love the hair, love the energy, love the styling and stuff like this. This is quintessential slice of life, Crystal. And you've mm -hmm. now done multiple lifestyle workshops with me. And I feel like you're really, really mastering it. As each workshop I've seen you come to, your images get, keep getting better and better and better. And I think that this is the best I've ever seen. I, I was really proud of you on this, Crystal. I, I was telling Priscilla, who works personally with Crystal, how incredible her images were. And it's like, this is iconic. You have all these iconic images to add to your book. You have a full, um, you know, unbelievable spread of swim. And you've got all this incredible stuff of lifestyle. It's, it's really spectacular. Yeah. And when I came back from this, you know, when I was shooting my, cause I do consumer photography too, is that, um, it really helps when you, when you're working with a, a senior who's graduating high school and you tell them, Oh my goodness, I just came back from Miami shooting models. And you are, you are amazing. You, you are, you look like a model being able to say that you work with high-end models helps your consumer side too. Like it gives you a certain elevate, it elevates your status you know, and being able to actually say, yes, well, I was just working with so-and-so model and, and then being able to compliment them, it makes them feel amazing. And it makes them want to like, you know, recommend you. So um, I know some people, it sometimes takes a little time to get into branding industry and you might be reserved about that, but it's, it's immediate return on your, your confidence level. And I, um, what I charge now is three times what I charged last year. So yeah or more. That's impressive. Absolutely. Three times what you charged last year, Crystal. That's incredible. Yeah, I think my average session last year was anywhere between three to $500. And now it's closer to uh, 2000. So actually, that's more than three times. That's like five times. Oh, I can't do it. <laughs> I love to hear that, Crystal. That's exactly my intention for you. And I think that the biggest difference is not only the world class content that's allowed you to take it up the nut to, to that you know, four times, you know, four to five times what you were charging, but also the confidence level. You just seem so much more confident in your photography, working on set. You're just super professional. And you were really, when you first started, you were nervous and that's okay. But that's what these workshops are all about is growing and becoming a better um, and more confident photographer over time. That's, I think that's very, very important. And I, I've seen a huge level of growth with you, Crystal. I mean, images like this, I mean, perfectly lit, absolutely breathtaking, unbelievable model, great posing, um, you know, content like this, very dynamic, you know, well art directed, you know, incredible models. Angelina was just one of the best models I've had a chance to work with with lifestyle. She's incredible. Um, yeah. really feel, and also double page spread here, really incredible. This, this is, you know, a billboard, you know, level, you know, this is stuff that, uh, is, is world-class and high-end resort lifestyle. Yeah. And the other thing I really wanted to, to, I think you mentioned this before, but coming from an actual student, what I'm most impressed with and what keeps me coming back over and over again, probably forever until you stop doing these, um, <laughs> is that it's, it's not just, okay, you show up, you know, you work there and you leave. Priscilla, who's who I work with mostly, you know, she's always there. Like if I have a question, I, you know, I contact her and I get a response, you know, sometimes right away, sometimes in a, in a couple of days, but she's always there. Like you get support. I know that if, when I book, a, when I book like a 
$30,000 or $50,000 gig that I feel a little scared of, um, I know that I can come to you and be like, hey, so how do I handle this? You know, I actually am working with a client who is being broached, who um, is a realtor and she's being um, kind of sought after to make a television show. And she wants me to do all her branding work. That's kind of scary for me, you know, but I know that I have, you know, this really amazing um, support system with you guys, um, which is that's, I mean, it's just, it's worth its weight in gold. I mean, really, I love you, Kevin. I really do. Oh, well, thank you, Crystal. That means a lot. And you know what? Um, we work with a lot of photographers uh, and free of charge just to help you guys um, negotiate budgets, um, give you guys ideas on usage and creative fees, um, you know, how to handle a production when it comes in, how to close the deals. We'll help you. And, and that's just all part of it because uh, it's my best interest for you guys to be more successful. Like for me to hear that you're making like, four times as much money this year um, per shoot that to me is, is all I want to hear crystal. It's like that. And the images are 10 times better than anything you'd ever done before. Every workshop is just more and more incredible um, and iconic. So I thank you very much. And just gorgeous images. And these are all from the same workshop, you guys, mm -hmm. you know, this is, this is all from one workshop. And obviously you saw thousands of pictures. These are just a small selection. Um, but it's. Um, yeah, that was hard. That was one of the hardest parts actually was, was bringing it down to a small selection. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, I, I think that that's always one of the most challenging things. I know, um, you know, another photographer on here, Mike Wyatt, he, he shoots so many images. That's one of his biggest problems is like narrowing it down from the thousands of world-class images. You know, I don't know, we always run into that, but images like this, you know, it's a not, I mean, seriously, it's a, this is a swim campaign. You could go out right now today and land full scale, high level swim campaigns right now with content like this. This is, <laughs> this is better than what I'm seeing right now in Sports Illustrated, what I'm seeing now in, in swim lines, you know, um, for like Venus, Revolve, um, you know, all these different brands that have um, swimwear. This is better than that right now. And you could start landing it and, that, and I would start marketing it because this content is unbelievable. I mean, just breathtaking content. Um, and I'm going to feature a whole bunch of this on our website. And I'm also going to strongly recommend you publish this stuff in editorials. Um, and, uh, you know, because it's so good, Crystal, it's on another level. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. And it's not just one or two images. It's like hit image after hit image after hit image. Um, and, you know, even images like this, it's like, it's just so, there's so much intelligence in the design and, you know, and it's, it's a high level aesthetic. Because swim, there's a big range of swim photography and a lot of swim photographers try to make it too sexy or too raunchy or whatever. This is just a very high level. And same with the lifestyle. I it wanted just, it to be something I could show my dad without him screaming. <laughs> tasteful, exactly, exactly, yeah. Um, wow, so I love this, I love this. Um, yeah, <laughs> Jeannie Stack says, I shot 14,000 plus images. I don't even know how that's possible, but that's amazing, Jeannie, um, at the workshop that she just attended in Virginia with me. Um, lifestyle content, um, you know, and actually on the swim workshops, it's even more because the, um, the content that we're shooting with multiple frames a second and individual models, we can shoot so many scenes in a day. It's like ridiculous because we're, we have a huge vested interest in that. Um, but when we're shooting content like this, guys, um, it's you notice the art direction. The art direction here is really well art directed. The posing, the feeling. That's the one. I love that scene. That that's the, those scenes right there. Like this, those yeah. Are like, my like, like this scenes. is another is another campaign right here. You know, and mm -hmm. you notice the wardrobe choice, the background, you know, the sky, the everything coming together. I mean, this is just out of this world a list. Um, and this works for either lifestyle or um, swim, um, but generally more for like a lifestyle or resort campaign. Um, even though they're not smiling, I just love the energy. It's very mm -hmm. high end. It's very um, high level resort, Miami beach. Very, very proud of you. Um, and this is, this is, this is what we're talking about guys. This is a list stuff. Um, we don't mess around at the workshops. And as every year goes by these, these productions get even more incredible, more over the top, more ridiculous. Um, and, and that's why I'm, I'm really proud of what we do. I'm really, really proud you guys. It's, it's, it's special. And I'm really excited that you've had the opportunity to join us crystal 
at all these experiences because um, it's uh, uh, it's been an absolute journey and I'm so proud of everything you've done. I'm just excited oh. that you're going to do Washington DC again or to Virginia because I, I am. It, it was too good. <laughs> it, it was too good, Crystal. It, you know, we do these one-off workshops from time to time. You know, we've done the Colorado workshop up in the mountains, which was epic. We've done Atlanta. We've done Dallas. Um, but the, the DC, you know, we're going to, we're going to actually call it the equestrian Virginia equestrian lifestyle workshop. Um, and because we're going to incorporate a lot because it's out in horse country, we're going to incorporate a lot of horses and a lot of, um, uh, animals and different production out there, but it's going to be a really spectacular experience. So I would definitely recommend coming to that next year, Crystal, for sure. Absolutely. I'm, I'm already in my head, like sign me up right there. <laughs> and images like this, I mean, these male model, I mean, this male model is out of this world. And, and he was so really sweet, prepared. kind as can be too. Yeah, absolutely. And, um, and another great lifestyle image, fun, energizing, um, really, really incredible. Back to some swim and then stuff like this. Love this for lifestyle. Absolutely brilliant. This is one of the images I showed earlier. Um, you know, another iconic image. Absolutely has everything. And, um, and, and, you know, and also, you know, we integrate this also with like a Royal Palm, the Royal Palm um, Resort, um, a luxury resort there in Miami Beach. And, you know, they're going to be posting when you start posting and posting um, and sharing on the social tagging this with uh, Royal Palm, they're going to be posting and reposting because they're really excited about it too, um, featuring it okay. because they really wanted us to feature their resort and all the awesomeness. Um, I actually didn't know that. That's good to know. I haven't absolutely. posted, I don't think I've posted this one yet. Um, so yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Um, shooting this with the uh, I'm excited Coke. for the video for this because I worked really hard on this video, <laughs> super slow mo video with the uh, with the coconut, it was incredible. Yeah, it was just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Yeah, and Crystal's another one, just like Jeannie, who loves to operate gimbal and do a lot of video at this, which is, I think, really rewarding. Yeah. One thing I appreciate is actually, you know, you let me, you walked away and you let me just like shoot the scene. And it was really awesome. I had Priscilla there to kind of coach me when I had questions, but it was, um, it was really a compliment to have you trust me enough to walk away. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, I feel like you're, you know, you're strong enough that you can, you can make it happen. You can make magic happen um, on your own and direct sequences. Um, but you know, everybody's at different levels and I feel like crystals achieved a really high level of quality success and ability. And, you know, I've taken her under my wing and we work really, really well together. So anyway, I'm really proud of you, Crystal. Thank you so much for joining us at this amazing experience in Miami. I can't wait to see you at the upcoming experiences, um, you know, that we're going to see you at, it's going to be absolutely breathtaking what we're going to accomplish this year. Um, but, um, but thank you so much for those kind words. Um, I'd love, um, uh, and, and I'd love for you guys to ask some more Q and a, ask some more questions. Um, please, um, you know, don't be shy. Um, and, uh, you know, and, oh, and okay. So Hugh, Hugh Gilmartin asks, uh, where, uh, where is the masterclass? The masterclass we always do every year in Los Angeles. Um, the reason we do it in LA, um, because it's always, um, my A-list team, I have my best production team in the world here in LA. I'm based in LA. I'm right on the beach in Hermosa Beach. Um, we have access to the most mind-blowing and insane locations imaginable um, at the Masterclass. And it is our most elite workshop of the year. We do recommend that you take one to two main section workshops first because it is our most high level workshop. Um, and, um, and obviously, uh, you know, the work speaks for itself because it's so ridiculous. It's so over the top. Um, we end up always getting it published in multiple magazines, internationally published. And on top of that, um, and it even came out actually this just today. Um, it, it's coming out into print um, in um, number eight magazine. Um, this editorial right here, this was shot on one of the days at the master class this last year. Um, and on top of all of that, um, it's going to be essentially uh, the creative direction and vision is designed by the attendees with me. So it's not only my creative vision, it's also I incorporate the photographers attending. This was Mike Wyatt's genius. He came up with this concept and you know what? He deserves getting the back cover of, um, of um, Number 8 Magazine and a bunch of images in the editorial. Um, and, um, and also Crystal, by the way, um, your editorial, I think you have multiple pages also that just got published in number eight as well um, that are being featured um, in the editorial. I'll send it to you. 
um, after this call. So it's really exciting um, to see everything um, that got published. This was also shot at the masterclass. And again, this is the fashion section. We also have a whole lifestyle section in the masterclass as well, um, but it is our most elite workshop that we do of the year. But I'm glad that you asked that. Um, Hugh, I look forward to seeing you at some upcoming experiences. Um, and I think that it'll completely transform everything that you think and see about photography and video. It's an incredible experience. So thank you so much, Crystal, for, for joining us. Um, and um, I'd love for the great Rob Leroy to jump on because um, I know, um, you know, I, I just, this is the first time I got to work with Rob. Um, we worked together in Miami and um, we shot um, some just insane content um, down there. And it was, it was really, really fun to work with you, Rob. So um, I'd love for you to, um, to jump on. I'm going to also showcase some of your amazing images. Um, there he is, the great Rob Leroy. Um, and uh, I, uh, so Rob, why don't you tell me a little bit about, um, you know, essentially, because you're really world-class and um, talented photographer yourself. Why don't you tell me a little bit about, you know, the experience and what you were able to shoot and how it felt shooting on location with me in Miami Beach? Uh, yeah, um, well, it was, it was a great time. Uh, I'd never really done anything quite like that before. I've been predominantly an architectural photographer, so I'm used to shooting things that don't move or talk back. Um, so it was really an interesting challenge to, to shoot at moving targets, um, especially in that crazy wind that we had there. So it was a little, it, it was a, a pretty intimidating, but I found that, you know, because it was just so well organized and there was so much, you know, that went into it that it it was it allowed for that chaos to kind of make some sense over time i guess and i felt like i got kind of acclimated to it um it was really it, it's a fun experience it was really fun to everybody that was there was super cool um and really willing to to help me learn and get used to shooting again people versus buildings um not that i haven't shot people but i just hadn't done it in quite that way before um it was it was pretty cool well, your work is breathtaking, and so it speaks for yourself. I think you need to get into shooting people <laughs> because you're really damn good at it. So oh, you, Rob, I'm very impressed at this content. And of course, it doesn't hurt having world-class models like Angelina and, and Brooke and Basilton and all these you know world-class models, but unbelievable content here. This is just a few snippets of Rob's work um, that he shot down there in Miami. Um, and also, you know, I know that you shoot a lot of real estate and architectural stuff. I really want to challenge you to do a lot more with people and architecture together and shooting mm -hmm. high-end lifestyle resort advertising where you incorporate the two because the budgets do go up pretty yeah, significantly. That's, and that was exactly what drew me to the, the, the workshop in the first place was, um, you know, my company and my team, we do you know, I would say exceptional architectural work. Um, we really would like to move up into the resort and, and fancy hotel space and travel around the world and do that. Um, but uh, Priscilla, on the first time that we spoke, made an excellent point that um, if they're going to spend all that money to make their place look good, they should probably have some pretty people having fun there as well. So um, that was uh, what this was all about. And I, I, it, I, I learned an awful lot about doing that um, in the process. Yeah. So that's my goal. That's my goal. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah. I want you to go after large scale ad campaigns and content like this. I mean, this is great because it shows a lot of location. It shows the resort itself. It shows that you're, you know, you're actually at the Royal Palm. You're shooting with these unbelievable models. There's a lot of story going on. And magically you work really well with the wind because look what he said, there's, you know, 35 mile an hour winds going on, but yet I actually feel like the wind worked. It really helped blow the model's hair. Now it was a lot harder for us on production because I couldn't use the giant um, combo stands and equipment to hold the scrims and bounces in place. Um, I had to use um, like physical assistance. I had to hire extra assistance to stand there and hold the gear the entire time so they didn't blow away and hit a model and knock them out and stuff like that. So, um, <laughs> but it was breathtaking content like this. Um, you did an amazing job. Um, and, you know, sequences like this too. I mean, this just feels so authentic and real. Um, Rob, this is this is what I'm going for is content that's just breathtaking, real, authentic and fun and energizing. And I challenge you going forward to develop a, an entire 40 image cohesive body of work that's in line with this, because now that you created content like this, you can't go back. This is the best content with people you've ever shot in your life. Now you got to keep going and you got to keep shooting at this scale and at this level 
every single time and develop a full scale 40 image cohesive body of work with around 30 um, iconic images that just completely stand out. And I want to see that 40 image uh, book ready to go because I know that, you know, you own a production company, you guys are shooting all the time and stuff, but I want you doing, going from those smaller scale jobs to those six figure jobs all the time. Yeah. Um, we're, we're ready to do that. I, uh, I'd rather do one big, huge one every month where I can actually put the time into making it perfect, uh, rather than dozens of okay paying ones where I, end up getting $4 an hour because I'm such a perfectionist and I put all the time in there that I, that it needs, but not that is being paid for. So it's all it's definitely the direction I'm trying to go. That's exactly it. That's exactly it. And that's, that's what we want to avoid. We want to make sure that you're always um, achieving stuff at the highest level and booking those campaigns that you deserve because you're, you know, you're a, a world-class professional, Rob, and you've got incredible work. You've got, you know, great energy and we need to connect the dots. And that's what I'm here for. So I encourage you to, you know, set up, um, you know, strategy session um, going forward with um, Priscilla and, um, and definitely go over your images and, um, and talk about um, kind of the next steps of your photography, because I really want you to start achieving those campaigns. You know, uh, you should be getting asked all the time as well to be shooting, you know, these big campaigns, just like I am. There's no reason you shouldn't be. So, um, but we just got to connect the dots. Cool. I'm, I'm all yeah. for it. Thanks. Excellent. Excellent. Well, cool. Well, it's so good to see you on here, Rob. Thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, um, I'm really proud of you with the images you created because they're absolutely breathtaking. Um, and I can't wait to see you at the next experience. So um, because it's 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 just the, the first step in a long process to develop that epic, epic video reel, epic photographic portfolio, and to kind of take it to the next level so you can start booking the campaigns that you've been wanting to do. Cool. Excellent. Yeah. Great. Thanks. Cool. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. All right. Thank you so much, Rob. I appreciate you jumping on and congratulations on all these amazing images. Thanks. All right. Um, so, uh, all right, guys. And, you know, you can see just some of this incredible content that um, that our photographer has been shooting. But you'll notice a theme. You'll notice a trend that the, the quality, the, the production is really adding to the, the sequences. It's really adding to the quality. It's really adding um, you know, to everything we're doing. Um, and you can see that it's like, it's, it's really taken them up a notch. Um, and this is good. What I get really, really proud about is to see our photographers shooting this content. And it, it's like, and I see everything they've shot before the workshop. And then I see what they shoot at the workshop and then after the workshop. And it's just like, oh my gosh, I am very, very, very impressed. So for instance, here's another photographer, um, Bruce Supanic, um, that joined us as well. I'm extremely impressed with Bruce's work. Um, you know, incredible swim and lifestyle. Obviously, we shot these on different days, but just breathtaking work that deserves, you know, campaigns, you know, and you notice the little details with the wardrobe styling. The wardrobe styling is top notch, and it's something that we spare no expense for. It's, it's absolutely key. Um, it's critical, and it's something that I want you guys to remember, because if you're not working with A-list wardrobe stylists on all of your photo shoots, then you've got to completely make a transformation today because that's that that's the absolute critical component of every shoot is to get those amazing wardrobe amazing wardrobe in every scene just like you see here this is this is absolutely breathtaking um all right guys um and you know on top of all of this um you know you notice there's a lot of real careful um art direction with the placement of the models double page spreads creating stories, capturing different moments, some, some further away, some tighter. And there's a sense of style. There's a sense of energy, connection. Very, very impressive. And I'm really proud of what these photographers were able to create because it's just out of this world out of this world. So, you know, we've just come off all the, you know, this is the most incredible workshops we've ever done ever in the history of the photography workshop series from Newport beach on lifestyle, five day experience on lifestyle. Um, we just, that was in February. We've got, um, we had March in Las Vegas on high fashion. That's just came out, um, as like a 40 page editorial in number eight magazine also landing the cover. Um, we just did, um, uh, Miami beach, which you see here. Um, and we just did the DC workshop, uh, last week, out in um, Virginia that was absolutely, you know, insane and over the top as well. And um, we have some incredible experiences coming up. Um, obviously, we've got Chicago, New York, 
We've got um, the uh, masterclass, the French Castle experience. We have unbelievable productions um, on the agenda that I definitely recommend if you guys want to be a part of this. Um, or if you have taken workshops in the past with me, but you want to continue to build and grow, that's what we're here for. We're here to take it up to the next level. We're here to help you guys um, to the highest echelon of your potential. And, um, and th there's no better way than to get involved and get going on building that portfolio right now. Because I, I can tell you what, I've seen so many photographers, you know, say, well, let me think about it. Let me wait. And what happens is, is nothing changes. If you wait, you're just going to fall further and further behind because right now projects are being booked. Photographers, directors, production companies are being booked all the time. We need to make sure that um, we're getting a piece of that action each and every time. It's really, really important. And that's where I'm here to help you guys achieve the kind of greatness that you've always wanted to have and to be able to book the jobs, the dream projects, because that's what this is all about. And to achieve the kind of success that, you know, I know that many of you are capable of if you have the right production, but it all comes down to that. If you have the production at your fingertips, then it's going to change everything. In fact, here, I'm going to actually show you um, a little bit more content, video content of what we just did in um, the uh, equestrian lifestyle out in, um, in DC. Um, just to give you a little bit of an idea of what this experience was all about and what you guys can expect next year um, for this production, because it was our very first DC workshop, but the Virginia Equestrian DC area production, shooting with the gypsy van or horses, um, shooting with these top models from New York, Miami, and LA, and creating just insane content. This is straight out of camera, you know, unedited video, um, just from single takes out of, um, you know, out of this production that we did out there. So, uh, you know, so kind of, you know, in, in the grand scope of things, guys, um, what makes a world-class lifestyle photographer is having a 40 image cohesive body of work with 30 iconic images, having a video reel that is so powerful that it evokes the clients to want to book you on those six figure campaigns, showing emotion, showing energy, showing movement, showing action. It also incorporates, um, having quality where you can tell that the, you know, every detail from having incredible animals where we're shooting with kangaroos or, or, um, you know, shooting alpacas or gypsy van or horses or, you know, camels or whatever we have adding production value, unbelievable locations, incredible styling, incredible props, all of the aspects of the production have to come together for perfection. And then storytelling, creating that moment, art directing it, allowing it to unfold, and then capturing it to get the greatest images and video content out there. Putting that all together in a brand and then in your portfolio and marketing it out to the ideal decision makers that want to book you. And then following up to consistently get in their faces to get them to want to book you and then going the process of actually booking those campaigns, which is what, you know, it, this all comes down to in the end, the idea is we want to be booked. We want to be shooting. We want to be hired for those dream campaigns that you've always wanted to achieve. And I want each and every one of you guys, just like me, shooting for Burberry, shooting for Giorgio Armani, shooting for Revolve, shooting for Dior. I want you guys regularly doing these kind of projects as well. That's my goal. That's my mission for the photography workshop series. And I encourage all of you guys to join us and to have these experiences. And, and even if you've taken some in the past, I want you guys to join us at the most epic upcoming productions that we've ever done, because this is what is all that's, it all comes down to. Because if you want to be a successful photographer, you've got to go out there and get booked on a regular basis at the highest level. If you want to do this as a career, because otherwise it's just a hobby, which is totally okay too. But if you want to actually make this work, I can help you. I can help you achieve greatness. Just like Crystal, earning four times what she did before. That's totally normal. I have so many photographers massively achieving success more than they ever did before because of what they achieved at the workshop series. Not to mention the 107 awards that we won this last year. It's pretty incredible. 
All right, guys, it was such a pleasure. I cannot wait to see each and every one of you at our upcoming productions. And if you want to get involved in any of these experiences, talk to your photographic consultant, talk to one of our team members, and let us know because we can't wait to work with you. And we're here to help take your photography to the highest level and give you every opportunity to win, giving you every opportunity to be the best version of yourself and to succeed.